law enforcement department of the Texas A&M Forest Service was started around uh, 1923. We were started out as education officers uh, to educate landowners on burning and starting fires. When we started getting into the timber theft investigations was a little bit later on because a and Forest Service has always been in the forest industry and an educator in the forest industry. A lot of people, when they hear the word timber theft, they actually think about the thief in the night, the old character with a mask and everything. And so what we're seeing more now is not the thief in the night, it's, it's a fraud, it's a scam. It's majority of it is, is, is on older citizens or people that are not knowledgeable of the industry. I was in my office and I got a phone call from this guy named Jim Williams. And, and he called me and said that, said that the city of Huntsville had contacted him and said that I had pine beetles in my trees. So I met him out there that afternoon and, and we looked at the trees. He was a pretty likable guy uh, and we kind of made a deal uh, to, to let him cut the trees. It's a problem. Yeah, um, we are constantly working on timber theft cases. and. I believe we're not even scratching the surface of what's really out there. And he just told me just one story right after the other and as of this time I haven't been paid a nickel. This can happen. That's key. That is key right there, educating uh, landowners. It happened to me because I kind of liked the guy. We kind of hit it off and, and I, I trust everybody and he just, you know, took advantage of me. That. I think a lot of it goes unreported because they're usually small acre tracks. They're usually in the range of 10 to 30 acres and people don't know how much money it is. Regardless of whether it's 500 or 50,000, it's theft any way you cut it.